Windows 11, an operating system that had a lot of controversies surrounding it, whether that was due to the dislike of the user interface and or software breaking bugs. But as Microsoft works on getting the kinks ironed out, the adoption rate will gradually increase and many PC gamers will jump onto this OS. The concern I had was if you choose to upgrade from Windows 10 as opposed to doing a fresh install of Windows 11, would your gaming performance be negatively impacted? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. Today we're going to be taking a look at some gaming benchmarks which I ran on my test system to see if it's worth doing a fresh install of Windows 11 if you plan on switching from Windows 10. Now the easiest route would be to just go into your Windows settings and more specifically head over to the updates and security menu then just initiate the Windows 11 upgrade process from there. The main concern I have heard about upgrading your OS this way, and practically all the comments I've seen is just anecdotal evidence, is that people claim they experience a performance loss or they encounter other bugs. Whereas after doing a fresh install of Windows, the performance is better, their system feels snappier, and they don't encounter any bugs. Now, for this video, I'm not going to be going over the whole user interface and system usage experience topic. I haven't even used Windows 11 prior to running tests for this video, all I can really say is that I'm not a big fan of its design. I feel like options and settings that were easily accessible have now been hidden under numerous menus for no good reason. I feel like Microsoft has decided to go for a clean and minimalistic setup, but I'm not sure if it really works that well for an x86 operating system. But I don't know, perhaps I just need to spend more time with it. What I wanted to test was if gaming performance would be negatively impacted and or if there's any major benefit to doing a fresh install of Windows 11 when switching from Windows 10. Before we jump into the benchmarks, I wanted to quickly go over to test system specifications. For the CPU, we have an AMD Ryzen 7 5800X, which I have overclocked using PBO2 and Curve Optimizer, and it's cooled by an Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 360 AIO. For the RAM, we've got 32GB of Patriot Viper Steel DDR4 memory running at 38 megatransfers per second, CL14, and the timings have been manually tuned. The motherboard is an MSI X570 Unify. For our storage, we have a 2TB Samsung 970 EVO Plus NVMe SSD. The graphics card is an MSI RTX 4090 Gaming X Trio, and powering the entire system is an EVGA G3 1000W 80 Plus Gold Certified Power Supply. I did also ensure that I used the latest AMD chipset drivers, and along with that the latest NVIDIA drivers. They were also clean installed when I had switched to Windows 11. Now that we've gotten the test system specs out of the way, it's time we jumped into the gaming benchmarks. So what I've done is that I've benchmarked 16 titles at 1080p, and the reason for this is because I felt like if we were to notice any impacts, it would have been at this CPU bound resolution, as I highly doubt there would have been any changes at 4K when the GPU is doing like 99% of the heavy lifting. I won't bore you guys either, and I'll go through this first batch of benchmarks fairly quickly because the results here are basically within margin of error. There aren't any noticeable differences from these first few titles. Cyberpunk 2077 is the first game in our list that actually shows us a considerable difference with our fresh install of Windows 11. The Windows 11 upgrade and Windows 10 result is neck and neck, but doing a fresh install of Windows yielded a performance uplift of 12%, and I made sure to check I had the right settings enabled, and I did make sure that there was no upscaling or like DLSS or FSR turned on either. Gears 5 is another noteworthy title in our benchmark suite. Our Windows 10 result is about 7% better than our Windows 11 upgrade result. However, doing a fresh install of Windows 11 seems to restore performance back to what we got on Windows 10. In Control and Horizon Zero Dawn, nothing really changes that's worth pointing out. Performance across all three configurations is nearly identical. Doom Eternal is another title that shows us behavior similar to what we saw in Gears 5. After doing an upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, there's a drop in performance, but once we ran the test again on our fresh install of Windows 11, performance goes back up. Although I have to say if you're running a game at 500 FPS average, at that point will you even care about a bit of performance loss, or rather would you even notice that loss to begin with? Rainbow Six Extraction joins the rest of the titles where you don't have to worry about 
any sort of performance loss should you upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10 instead of doing a fresh install. Now, Halo Infinite is a bit interesting. When we upgraded from Windows 10 to 11, we see performance drop off a bit, 3% difference for the average frame rate, and 7% for the 1% lows. However, our fresh install grants us an improvement for the average frame rate of about 2% over the Windows 10, but 1% lows are still lower. Moving on, and we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 2022, and it's another title which shows us similar performance across all three configurations. The last game we'll take a look at is F1 2022, and here we can see that upgrading to Windows 11 gives us a small performance boost, but it's nothing drastic. However, our fresh install nets us an 8% increase for the average frame rate, so I guess that's decent. So when we take a look at our 16 game average, we can see that all three configurations provided us with the same performance. The vast majority of titles show us performance figures were, were within margin of error. There were a few select games where the differences were measurable, but nothing drastic and not something you'd really notice anyway unless all you're doing is just, you know, running benchmarks, monitoring FPS and not actually playing the game. So if you were considering a switch from Windows 11 from Windows 10 and you just didn't want to go through that whole hassle of having to install everything again, then just simply do the upgrade route. There was little to no performance loss from the titles tested, therefore you don't really have anything to be worried about. Now with that said, if you are able to take the time to do a fresh install, I'd say maybe it's for the best. From all the comments and posts I've read online, people are saying they've had problems that they were experiencing go away once they did a fresh install. Along with that, we did see a couple titles that showed us a benefit from a fresh install like Cyberpunk and F1. Now, that's going to do it for this one. I'm hoping for those PC gamers out there considering an upgrade to Windows 11, I've answered or addressed your concerns with these gaming benchmarks. If you guys found this video to be informative and entertaining, then leave a like. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Be sure to check out the video description for cool links and ways to support the channel, such as using my Amazon affiliate link. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then consider subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.